Today is going to get real messy. We're making ribs, we're making cornbread. I think we should definitely make an apron or two or three. It's really easy, so let's do it. So Matt, what are we making? Oh, we're gonna make my favorite, baby back ribs and cornbread. Oh my gosh, cornbread is my favorite too. Oh, how do you not love cornbread? I know. So here are our ingredients. So we have baby back ribs and my favorite rub, and we'll be making that in our seven in one multi oven. Okay. Then we have milk, flour, cornmeal, sugar, salt, baking powder, and egg. And we're making that in the bread maker. All in the bread maker. Amazing. Yep. So I take my favorite rub, and when I do baby back ribs, I like to make sure I season both sides. So we're gonna okay. heavily season with your favorite rub. And then, as you know, we're gonna turn them over real quick. Okay. And just season the other side. Okay. And turn them back over. That's it. And that's it. Okay. So now. You can do that. Yeah. So uh, could you actually open the oven sure. for me? Sure. Okay. So we're gonna, we put the ribs in, and then we close the door. Okay. Okay. Now, we're gonna scroll to slow cook. When you see it blinking, that's when yeah. it's ready. Okay. And then we're gonna press this start button. We're gonna set these ribs for three hours and press start. There it goes. And then? That's it. That's it. And okay. in three hours, we'll have beautiful ri ribs. I cannot wait. Yep. Okay, so we got our cornbread here. Yep. Which I'm equally excited about. Absolutely. Um, okay. Ready to make it? Let's do it. Yes. Where's the bowl? Open up the bread maker and take out the bread pan. There's a bowl in here? No, there's a pan, just a pan. Oh, we're gonna mix everything in the pan? Everything's gonna be in that pan. That's so pretty cool. So inside, there's a kneading blade. Okay. And that's what's gonna oh, knead everything yes, I automatically. See that. So I don't need to mix it with a spoon? Nope, no spoon, nothing. So we're gonna. Just to clean after. So simple. That's how I keep the chef coat yeah, white. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> So basically, I'm just gonna dump everything in here. Yep, we're gonna start okay. first with our liquids first. So okay. start with your milk and your egg. Okay, here we go. I kind of like when everything is already measured out for me too. Oh, it's, it's great. extra fast. <laughs> my mom makes cornbread often, and now oh, yeah? I make cornbread often. It's okay. like one of my family's favorite things, so. Am I close to your recipe? Not that I want to give out the secret recipe, but. Mine has a lot of sugar, that is oh, the secret okay. ingredient. Yep, yep. So I think they're similar. <laughs> okay, so. so now. Uh, pick it up by the okay. handle, place it in the oven. Okay. Okay, close the door. Yeah. And then you just need to scroll to where it says cake. Okay. Okay. And then just press start. Okay. Okay. And there you go. That's it. That's it. Okay. Well, I have a project in mind that I think you're really gonna like. So All right. we'll clean up here and then we'll go make something. Great. Okay. Okay, we've just been making ribs, and I've oh, noticed yeah. you're often wearing the chef's coat. Uh -huh. Do you wear yes. the chef coat at home? I mean, are, are we sleeping in the chef's no. coat? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know it, it's definitely not my uh, bedtime attire, oh, okay. but in the kitchen, I do wear an apron, but I gotta tell you, I need a new one. Well, perfect. I think, I think it's gonna be great. You came to the right place. <laughs> right. Okay, here's what you need for this project. Fabric for your apron, fabric for your pocket, and of course, a sewing machine and an iron. And you can find all the details for the pattern in the video description. Dana, I gotta tell you, this all looks very complicated. There's a lot of papers, <laughs> there's a lot of tape. I, I don't know what it this can, is, but you gotta help me through okay, this. Okay, it can feel a little intimidating when okay. you're sewing. So yes, yep. I wanna show you that. It's actually simpler than it looks. So when you print your pattern from home and look in the video description for the pattern, you end up with these pieces of paper like this. And then all the pages, you have a diagram. It shows you exactly how okay. to piece the pages together. So what I like to do, I have my two page ones up here, I my row mm -hmm. two down here. I'm gonna take scissors and I would cut right along this dotted line and then I would line up these two pages, see how the pattern is coming together. Mm -hmm. I take tape, I tape all my pages together for one row, the next row, piece it all together, kind of like making a quilt. Yep. And then you just cut out your giant pattern piece. Oh, so wow. it comes together really easily. And then what I like to do, I do this often with patterns that I use, well, regularly, okay. often, I like to make aprons. I like to transfer that, trace it onto cardstock because I find that it's just a little easier for me to cut out of cardstock oh, than the paper. Neat. And then 
I write all my markings on here. Like I need to cut so much of this thing or that thing and this should be cut on the fold. So it makes it really easy for me. It's almost like I don't need to reference my pattern because I have everything there. So that's what I have done for us to cut right? out no. your apron. We're I'm making excited. this for you. Yeah, I can't wait, okay. I can't wait. So we've got our fabric here. Did I pick a good? Did oh, I, I love it. Yeah, I love the gingham, it's great. You seem like a gingham kind of guy. I am. And this orangey red is totally one of my favorite colors, to be honest. Okay, so let's open our fabric. And as our pattern said, you want to cut this on the fold. Okay, so I'm placing that right there. The nice thing about this fabric is that all these little checkers makes it easy to cut because you've got straight nine. lines. There yeah. you okay. go. I like so this. What, <laughs> what we could do is trace around and then cut around. Okay. And then we have our other pieces here, which are like your neck strap, your waist ties, and you would want to cut those typically on the grain line. The grain line just means the way that the fabric is woven. Mm -hmm. But something cool with checkers is that if you cut it on the bias, that means on the diagonal, it makes a cool, you know, cross section sort of of the checkers. Instead of going that way, they're now going. It's giving me a little bit more yeah. of a design look. Right. I so like that's that. what I think we should do for okay. your apron because I think you would enjoy that. So we're gonna place all these up here, cut those. But let's start by cutting out our apron first. Okay. So I'm gonna cut this side and then I'm gonna hand the scissors to you. You'll find your way. So go for it. So let's give this a shot. Ready? <laughs> yes. Stand clear. <laughs> Standing by. Standing clear. Yes. This could be a tricky part going around the curve. So, yeah, I got the tough part here. I know, sorry. I want you to grow and you're learning, you know, very grow in your sewing skills. And like you're doing there with your left hand, that is a good, it's helpful to hold it that way. And then I've already prepared the pocket piece, which I thought was fun to do, like a coordinating. I did a mm -hmm. denim. Uh, oh, I love it. Yeah, but you could mix and match. Sometimes very, people... very summer barbecue-ish. Yeah, right? I like it. Okay, good. There we go. Okay, we're gonna cut out our other pieces. We've got our apron. Let's open it up so I can... There you go. Okay, we're done. Apron's ready. Just off <laughs> Pin this. it on. <laughs> ah, there you go. Ready. Okay, we're finished. Mic drop. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go put this thing together. You did a great job cutting this out. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay, we are ready to start assembling. And I want to show you. This is that neck strap. See how I said we cut it on the bias compared to on the grain. Oh, I like See that. How different That's that looks? neat. Yeah, yeah, no, it gets, adds that little bit. Yeah, with the same fabric, you get like an added design feature. Mm -hmm. So I like that. So I'm gonna have you press a few things for me. There's a lot of sure. pressing involved. Okay. You're gonna start by pressing this one under a half of an inch, which again, with the checkers, guess what? That's exactly a half of an inch. Oh, if perfect. In line. So press that under, and then you're gonna press the next strap for me, a quarter inch on both sides. Okay. And then we'll fold it in half. And while you're pressing, I'm gonna start attaching our pocket here. Good news for you. Guess what, Matt? I already said one for you. Oh, thank okay. goodness. But I did pretty good. You I did do yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So but I can, love that it's already you done. You can put that aside. <laughs> and I'm going to attach this right here. I'm coming in about an inch like this. And you want to make sure that nothing is twisted in there. Okay. This is called a facing, that other thing that you pressed for me. Mm -hmm. We're going to put that right there. We're going to sew that around, and then we're going to sew our sides. So let's go to our machine. Cool. Let's get the machine. Okay. There we go. It's looking mostly like an apron already. Yeah, no, yeah. this is great. Okay. Now I can't wear that right now. I mean, you could, but what? let's polish it off a little. Okay, yeah? excellent. Okay. We are going to press these curved edges under, which they fold really nicely because they are cut on that bias curve. That's, you know, a term I keep Yeah, bringing no, back. absolutely. <laughs> I love that you're learning all these sewing terms. And I'm learning all these baking and yeah. cooking terms. Okay, then I'm going to press it again because that encloses that raw edge. Okay. Which makes it nice and polished. Right, so there it you go. So fray when you wash yep. it. Okay. I'm gonna do that for the other side too. And then I'm also gonna press the long sides and then we're gonna sew those in place. Okay. 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 
All I have to do now is hem the bottom, press and press, and then we're gonna attach our little, our waist ties. Oh, awesome. Done. I can't believe how quick I mean, this is. I mean, almost done. I know. See, it felt overwhelming at first, and yeah. then it's oh, like. Oh, it's so easy. Yeah. These make awesome gifts. I mean, you could make, you know, birthday gifts for everyone you know. <laughs> that would be awesome coming from a chef. Right? Yeah, attach your I like that recipe. idea. I'm always thinking of gift ideas because I think people really love getting homemade, handmade yeah. things, just like a, like a handmade loaf of bread or. Right, you could, you could take some spices, wrap them up in this as in a basket or something like that. Right, like some rub spices? Yeah, like, absolutely. Or something you put on. Dry rub, yeah. yeah, for the ribs or even maybe a jar with a cornbread recipe <gasps> connected to it. So all they have to do is maybe add the water or something. Hey, here is your finished apron. And really not as What's complicated as you think. I know, it's right? Really, it's a bunch this of was straight really lines, great. mostly. Yep. Yeah. So Dana, how do I look? Fantastic. You're totally working it. Right? I like it. What are you gonna do with those pockets? Oh, I got a spatula. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have a, a grill temperature. Okay. Um, and we're ready to go. And I'm really gonna probably keep napkins over here too, so I don't spill <laughs> anything on my apron. <laughs> Yeah, keep the apron clean. Yeah, I gotta keep the apron clean. Okay, let's go eat some ribs. <laughs> ah, yeah. Matt, look, I made my own. <laughs> and now we're matchers. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, this looks fantastic. Uh-huh. Wait till you try, try it. Yeah, okay, are you gonna I, give it a uh, shot? Yeah, I'm gonna use a fork. Okay, I'm gonna use my hands. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I you made your neighbor. Yep. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh, it's really soft. Oh, whoops. There I'll grab that one. Oh, that one. Mmm, that is delicious. Love yeah, it. It really just came right off the bone. Nice and tender. Yes, okay, let me try this cornbread. Because I gotta have that to go along. Mmm. Mmm. Right? Really good. Yeah. Yes, okay. Mm, I am going to make this for my family for dinner. That's awesome. And I'm gonna wear this apron at my next <laughs> cookout. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Panasonic.